When you ask an artist what you should do in order to improve your own skills in drawing, oftentimes they reply with draw every day. And it is true, it gets you into the rhythm of things, it helps you improve your foundation, your lines, and helps you keep motivated to draw and learn more. But what if your art never really takes off? What if it just stagnates, and the same style you had now and back then just sort of repeats? More so, what if it degrades? What if as time goes by, your art actually stays so stagnant that it would almost seem like you're drawing the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. You draw every day, but it's the same drawing every single day. And that's what I want to explore today as I talk about an odd profile I stumbled across while streaming one night called Sammy Ways, an artist found on both ArtStation and DeviantArt. Someone who seems to have drawn the same face over and over again for years now, and several times a month. Why exactly they've done this, who it is exactly that they're drawing, and what the purpose of these drawings are is what I wanted to explore today. First, let's discuss the drawings themselves. To start, notice how each drawing is nearly identical, eerily so. Every face has blue eyes, blonde or brown hair, alternating between two hairstyles, short and long, and sometimes these individuals are wearing lipstick. At first, it would seem that Sam has drawn themselves over and over again, but that's really hard to say. Again, the hair either becomes short or long, though I suppose they could have knotted their hair back. but. Then there's the occasional portrait with brown hair instead of blonde. And then there's this one where Sam has drawn a long-haired individual with a beard, which looks identical to Sam's previous long-haired individuals. It's clear through these drawings that Sam wants to draw faces. And honestly, while at first glance it seems almost freaky how identical these faces are, it could just be someone young who is only just starting to learn how to draw. That's true that the age of Sam is completely unknown to us, but we can at least tell that Sam has been drawing for a long time now. After all, these are only Sam's recent drawings, going back all the way to their first drawings posted online both on DeviantArt and on ArtStation. And on ArtStation around 2015, we'll see that Sam had a much more diverse palette as an artist. And this isn't just a commentary on Sam's subjects, I mean just overall, Sam has drawings of different people using different colors, different poses, different styles, and different techniques. Drawing backgrounds, as well as abstract concepts and animals, and honestly, looking at some of these drawings compared to Sam's newer ones, I gotta say that these older ones look, dare I say, good. Uh, they may not suit your taste nor define your contemporary outlooks on what a good drawing is, but I can really see a fledgling artist learning how to draw and getting better at it by just looking at his art portfolio. The fact that he even drew different body poses is incredible, and they're very well done. No matter what their age might be, starting your journey as an artist is not an easy one, and you will not be happy with all of your art, but giving your earnest take and dedicating time to actually learning this stuff is impressive nonetheless. We can even see on Sam's likes on both of their profiles that Sam is interested in one thing, faces. They absolutely love portraits of people, fictional or real. It seems that the one thing that is almost as constant as their newer drawings is their love for portraits. I mean, also, there's a ton of likes that they have of beautiful women, but, you know, I'm not one to judge, who cares. These honestly seem fine. Yet moving forward, around two years after Sam began uploading, their colors became more mute, less vibrant, and almost everyone seems to be front-facing granted with a few different expressions and their eyes not looking directly forward. Then things became more familiar in 2018. Everyone began having blonde hair, blue eyes alternating between long or short, with the occasional lipstick. Some of these drawings do break the mold here and there, with brown eyes, maybe different colored hair, and even different colored skin, yet ultimately the face stays the same. Same kind of eyes, same kind of lips, nose, eyebrows, head shape, ears, and yes, teeth. Even down to the number of teeth. Yes, seriously, I counted. Each one of these drawings have eight teeth on top and eight teeth on the bottom. 
This is changed later as the smile that Sam has developed later on in their art style began to be more Cheshire-like, as opposed to being perfectly symmetrical early on. At first I figured these drawings were different people, different friends, and yeah, that could be the case, but many of these pieces of art are actually categorized under the hashtag character design. That now leads me to believe that all of these people, or at least a good handful of them, are all characters that Sam has made up. Even going back to some older drawings, we see that Sam has multiple drawings that have names, assumedly of the person he drew, but two of them are named something completely different, yet are almost exactly the same, Shirley and Megan. Stranger to me, still, are the drawings with titles that are just numbers and not just dates. I mean, these drawings with seemingly random numbers on them, like 9531, 6633, 6197, 2279, etc, etc. Now I'm starting to wonder if Sam is a robot or something. I wouldn't be totally surprising as how each of these drawings are so nearly identical that it's honestly kind of impressive. Looking up those numbers, however, all bring up some result or another, but I mean, th that's probably obvious. Numbers just have so much meaning in several different places, but none of them are really consistent to anything and anything that seems slightly interesting, I just chalk up to coincidence. Many other of his pieces are just titled one or two. Does that mean anything? I really doubt it. So no. Now, I want to point out that I'm being very, very careful with my observations of Sam's art, as I don't want to accidentally harm someone's self-worth just because their art is a bit eerie, nor do I want to offend anyone who just wants to learn at a different pace. I also don't want to seem foolish in case this ever turns out to be just some artist's experimental project on their representation or repetition of daily drawing or something like that. I am, at the end of the day, just some guy on the internet. I don't have any credible degrees in art or psychology to actually pinpoint what could be going on. I can only assume what is happening. So, for the next part of this video, I want to speculate a few things using what little evidence we have of Sam himself. Up until this point, Sam has been an interesting enigma. There's a few things we know for sure about Sam. The first is that he's from Finland. The second, they love Blade Runner. Their favorite author is Carl May, Cricket is their favorite game, Trade Wars 2002 their favorite video game, and they're very interested in the Bible. Cool. Okay, well, that really doesn't tell us much if anything at all, honestly. It's mostly irrelevant. I also don't want to dig too deep into some of these because then we'll just start making assumptions that are basically nothing, and I really don't want to go down the dark rabbit hole of hypothesizing the symbolism behind Sam's love for Carl May, who's basically just a German fangirl of the Wild West. Warum wirft die feige Kröte nicht? Oh, es ist eure Pflicht, hm? Ich wollte sagen, dass ich gern mit Yeah. What I do find interesting is what he put in his profile page under Tools of Trade, which was this quote, One doesn't have to be alone, even if one actually is. This makes me wonder about Sam. As a person, I mean. I don't necessarily believe he's a lonely person. They might be, sure. But it's more likely that there's just someone who's very introverted and can't really speak up for themselves. Every interaction that Sam has had with his audience or whoever comments on his profile has also been very limited. I don't think I've ever seen Sam actually say anything more than just thank you, that's it, or you're welcome. There is little to nothing that Sam has ever indicated about their identity. It's actually really surprising how hard it is to find out anything about Sam at all. I mean, there's 1300 drawings made by Sam. Some of them, however, are photos, but they don't really show much other than sceneries or buildings that I guess Sam likes. Nothing at all. Mind you, I'm not trying to dock Sam or anything like that. I just want a hint, a hint of why it is that Sam does what he does. I've had some people tell me that maybe Sam is just doing this for attention, but if that were the case, he's doing a very poor job at it because he's not really getting that much attention. Sure, he's got 15,000 views on his profile, but doesn't really surmise to much at all. And maybe he's doing it for money, but what money really? I mean, yes, all of his paintings are being sold on his DeviantArt page, but is that because DeviantArt does that by default? Or did Sam actually price them? Because a lot of them are priced the same, and some of them are priced very differently. 
for some reason or another. We also can assume that this perhaps is just Sam himself, as some of these pieces are titled Portrait. But does that mean self-portrait? Probably not, because it would honestly just say self-portrait. Yet, if we go back to some of his older drawings, especially the first one you can find on his art station, it's titled Rapunzel Cosplay. And that makes me wonder, why was it named like that? Was it because they're doing the cosplay as Rapunzel? Or because some other friend was doing the cosplay as Rapunzel? Why not just call it Rapunzel? And it's your own interpretation or your own drawing of Rapunzel. I'm not sure. And I'm not even sure if I should even look deep into that. Again, I'm being very cautious about this whole thing, as I truly don't want to look too deep into a person that could just be doing this for fun or really for just no reason at all. Well, as much as I don't want to dive too deep into this, honestly, part of the fun is the speculation. So let's try to figure out why exactly Sam does what he does. It just fascinates me that one person could be so ritualistic with their drawings and so habitually consistent with their style, yet clearly had some semblance of improvement or interest in the craft early on. It's as if something snapped in Sam, something changed that made them not want to change. It's as if suddenly Sam just thought that there are certain things and certain features that are just more beautiful than other features and sort of omitted all the other parts of their learning. The simplest, most logical answer to all of this, with all due respect to Sam, they are just an artist who cannot or refuses to improve further from their baseline foundation as an artist. Maybe even they like their art style. Art is in the eye of the beholder, and who are we to judge someone's artistic integrity? It's clear they're at the very least constant with the production of their art, and that alone is admirable. And again, the fact that they can reproduce practically the same art over and over is honestly very impressive, if not a bit creepy. Then of course, people have gone down the route of mental illness, that demon that we can barely understand yet like to throw under the bus when something remotely creepy is involved. I personally don't like claiming mental illness or disorders or anything like that immediately, especially not when it's something to do with creepy content. People who have mental disorders live no different a life than you or I. They just live it with certain extra sensitivities or awarenesses. This is not in any way an excuse to vilify or romanticize the idea of having a mental disorder just because something is indistinguishable from what you or I consider the norm. Somebody in my chat also mentioned that this could have been possibly a result of the COVID isolation that we've been having lately, but if that were the case, then why didn't they just look up photos online instead of just using themselves? It also doesn't really explain why the drawings are so very similar to each other, despite the many years that this has possibly been going on. One other person mentioned that this could possibly be a reference to the Sami tribe, which can be found in most regions of the world that are very cold, such as Russia, Netherlands, Sweden, and Finland. I did about surface level research on the Sami, and I'm just gonna come to the conclusion that it has nothing to do with them. Somebody also mentioned a very rare cognitive disorder called prosopagnosia, or also known as face blindness. Thing is, however, is that there was one person in my chat that said that they have face blindness and that it doesn't really work that way. Even though they can't recognize faces that well, they can still at least understand the difference between drawings. And of course, we can just come to the conclusion that Sammy is just a kid who's just learning how to draw. But I somehow doubt that, not only because that this profile has been up for six years, so even if Sam started out as, say, a 14 year old, they're well in their 20s now, or at least 18, there's also the fact that they like Trade Wars, which is a very old MMORPG game. Trade Wars 2002 in particular came out in the late 90s, despite its name. Of course, it's not totally impossible that a kid could get into older video games, but I don't know, something like that has a higher barrier to entry than, say, I don't know, my love for Baldur's Gate when I was a 10 year old. Either way, you would have to have grown up with those kinds of games to have an interest for that kind of game. Still willing to bet that he's at least 20, but I could be totally wrong. And finally, the last theory that I've kind of been skirting around this whole video is, well, unfortunately, gender dysphoria. It's not something I want to entertain lightly at all, because it is a serious issue. However, it is worth pointing out that oftentimes Sammy does just draw the same two people, a male and a, I presume a female anyways. Again, not something I want to treat lightly, but it is something to think about. 
What's more curious about Sam is that he's followed by very prestigious people like I mean, like high profile artists follow Sam. I was actually really curious because some of these people worked on huge projects like Halo or Borderlands, some even working in film and movies. So I was very curious to know why exactly they followed Sam and if there's really any purpose or if they know anything more than I could ever research. And out of the dozen or so artists that I have messaged, only a few have responded. Those three artists being Cordell Felix, Renan Menendez, and the last artist I'm redacting because they wanted to stay anonymous. Now, as much as I think this is common sense, I unfortunately do still have to remind everyone out there, please do not contact any of the people mentioned in this video, especially not Sammy Ways. Please respect their privacy, please leave them alone, and just be kind. I asked them if they had any sort of info on Sammy Ways, or if they knew anything as to why professionals followed him on ArtStation, and here's what they had to say. Sammy Ways is, in my opinion, the most interesting account on ArtStation, though I can't say I know anything about the creator. The strange experience of looking through his gallery contrasts quite heavily with the sort of account typically found on this site, which is why I think so many professionals have chosen to follow it. I have been hoping someone would do a deep dive on the origins of the account and provide some background on the artwork. Good luck with that. Cordell Felix further elaborates on this when I messaged him, and he said that this account is just so bizarre and creepy that it quickly became a meme within the industry. People started sharing the account around because of it being so bizarre, and it was funny at first for him, but now it just sort of seems creepy that Sam is constantly doing the same art style and the same picture over and over for so many years, and now, with that perspective, it just sort of seems cruel to make fun of him. Amusingly though, Felix did tell me that he made up a story to his friends about Sam being kidnapped and being forced to draw his captors every day. And I say this is amusing because that's literally what I wrote down in my script before I even contacted him. I, I don't know how he just came to that conclusion at the same time. Menendez, however, had the more positive outlook into Sam's profile. I think it's because it's a curious and quirky profile. It has a little mystery. Maybe it's an awesome artist creating something funny, or it can be a guy just making something that he or she likes and it's fun. This profile doesn't have to make sense. It's just curious. It can make us think that not all art has to be something with many techniques and very professional. Sometimes it's just fun, art, or a meme. Which is something I never really put into perspective. I never really thought that Sam's art had to have any sort of meaning whatsoever. I think part of the reason why I was so obsessed with this research was simply because I didn't want people to think that I didn't do enough research. Because there's so little about Sam online. I can't find out anything. No names, no user profiles, no reasoning, nothing whatsoever. But at the same time, do I really want to dig that deep into somebody's profile? I mean, should I really be thinking that hard about why someone makes the art that they do? It's conflicting to me because my biggest fear when I make these videos is that I don't do enough research or I do too much research. I look too much into something where there's nothing or maybe that I was just one Google search away from finding out something substantial. But what am I really trying to satisfy? Maybe just my curiosity and really, maybe there's nothing to it. Maybe in the end, Sam is just an artist. No matter the reason, no matter the skill, you can make any sort of wild assumption about Sam, but that doesn't mean that they're true. Ultimately though, the answers as to why he has committed to his art, or the style itself, is completely unknown. And I in no way want to make it seem like the art itself is bad. Because I just don't think you can say that when you don't know Sam, or the reason why he makes his art. The fact that he doesn't change his art style isn't a form of incompetence, but his faith in the style itself is admirable and his constant updates and uploads are just more telling of his love for the craft than it is of someone struggling with a disorder. Sure, maybe Sam is a cult leader. Maybe he needs more sacrifices for his ritual to be complete and these are his victims. Maybe he's a robot AI making the same art every day. Maybe he really can't recognize faces. Maybe he's been kidnapped and forced to draw his captors every day. Maybe he's a stalker and he's stalking these same people and he's just drawing them every time he sees them. But maybe, just maybe, he's just an artist. As Henry Chow commented on Sam's very first upload to ArtStation, a true artist is one who is faithful to the art form he loves. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. I love y'all so much. Goodbye.